So what we kind of have left to do to get ready is we have to mow around our feeders and around our set so we can actually see what we're hunting. It helps a lot. I've already talked about in previous videos how tall the weeds are and it's just really difficult to see if we don't do that. It also allows us to access our sets where we want to get to without making a lot of noise, without taking the hunters through a lot of pollen and junk like that that's going to get everybody sneezing. So it's just a very beneficial thing to do. The side note is the wildlife actually love when you mow areas. They like an edge. They like a change in plant diversity. So it's beneficial all the way around. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, I don't know if, if Lisa's put it in a video yet. Lisa does kind of the editing and stuff. We've been doing, uh, we've been mowing and mowing some of the areas where we're going to be hunting because with that giant ragweed i know she showed some videos where that giant ragweed is so gi so gigantic <laughs> hence the name <laughs> somebody was a genius when they made that i don't know if adam may name that or what but anyway uh so we're, we've been mowing a little bit so i had a breakdown on the tractor and so i got a mechanic over here that's working on them. i'm just going to check on them real quick Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to put the camera down and hold the light. The things I do for my mechanic. Ugh, I can't reach it. Okay, rather than hold the light, I, was, I found her a light. It's a magnetic light, so you can see, or maybe you can see down in there, I'll see if I can get on the other side, but you got to have little bitty hands to get it up under there and do what she's doing. Or you got to take you got to take this thing all the way off, and that involves taking the hydraulic control mechanism off for the bucket. So luckily, I know somebody with pretty small hands. The problem is, Brett told me don't drop this nut. Put a lot of pressure on me. I did what? You told me not to drop this nut. It's threatening me. If I do, I'm in big trouble. Okay. Get it? You yep. drop it. There went the first yeah. washer. Did you really drop yep. it? When you drop it, they go down into the abyss. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Oh, wait, I see it. She sees it. Can I get it as a question? Uh oh. We'll get around to the other side where you can see a little bit better what it's doing. How about a new one? I'll get this one out later. That's wait, fine. wait, maybe I, I I might be getting it. I got it. Okay, don't raise it. You got it? I need you to hold this lever okay. over here. Which way? Hold it towards me. Towards you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Don't move. Okay, the washer's on. Okay. You should have seen her when I had her standing on her head, hooking up the throttle cable on the skid steer. <laughs> Which way do I turn it? You turn it that way. The top goes that way like this. Okay. So I'm 
I'm trying to turn it, but I don't know that it's... Please don't strip it. You can't strip it with your fingers just if it gets tight. Okay, I think it's on. It ought to just turn easy all the way down. whole thing turn? I can't see. Okay. It's on though, Brett. How far? Is the bolt sticking out yet? No. Uh, I'm looking to see if the whole thing is turning. Okay, it won't turn anymore. I okay. Can't, I can't get it. Then it's probably on there. So give me just a second. <sighs> okay, we got it on. And I don't know if I can touch it. I think you can see maybe the top of it. Right there is the top of the tie rod where the bolt is. And it's hooked up to a plate up in here that goes to this, this gear shift right here. Right there, you can see right down through there, you can see the top of that tie rod right there, if it's focusing on it. Right through there. Right in there. So anyway, we got it. So now we just gotta try to remember how to put all this back together. I think we can do it. Finishing touches. What do we have left to get over there? Just pointing that out. This little push-in. Little grommet things. Little grommet things that okay. just finish off holding this. All right, and how many of those do we need to get? We, we need 10, so I'd get a dozen. Okay. <laughs> so I'd get 20. <laughs> Otherwise, she's got her all fixed. I had to stop and help a little bit. You know, I had to get a light, and get a screwdriver, and get a wrench, and all that stuff. <laughs> She's red now. You see that face? She's red. Yeah, it's hot. It's out. hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice, quick job. That's the last time I hire somebody without a reference. <laughs> <laughs>